In this video, I'm going to be swapping out the carburetor on this Kohler 321 14 horse engine, in this case 644. This is the new carburetor I bought for it. Now do not buy those cheap junk Chinese carburetors off Amazon. Some of them are like $14 or $20. They're going to start leaking fuel after a month or two and you're going to wind up having to buy a high quality one anyway. So this go out right from the get-go. I like to go to iSave Tractors and I get a lot of parts from them. Uh, every one of them have always worked. I've never had a problem with them. And these carburetors are going to come pre-adjusted. So if you've never really adjusted carburetors before, just install one of these, connect your linkages, and the darn thing is going to run great right from the get-go. Always make sure you order a new gasket with your carburetor as well. Do not reuse your old carburetor gaskets. So let's get into this thing and get this carburetor changed out. First thing we need to do is take this air cleaner cover off and remove the air cleaner. Now if you want to put on a new air cleaner, that's up to you. Here is the part number for the air cleaner for this one. You can pretty much buy these at any log and garden center, as long as you know this part number up here for your particular engine. And this is for the 14 horse Kohler K321. Once you remove the air cleaner cover, you need to remove this air cleaner base. And there's usually going to be three screws in here. I've already removed the two, but I would use a magnetic tipped screwdriver so that you don't lose that screw down inside your carburetor. Simply unscrew it and this is gonna come straight off. And that's revealing your carburetor. You're going to want to disconnect your fuel line. And just a little tip on your fuel lines. I don't like worm drive hose clamps. I like these T-bolt hose clamps. You can see what that looks like. It doesn't tear up your hoses and it clamps 360 degrees all the way around nice and tight. Now you can simply just pull straight up on this throttle linkage off of this governor arm and it's going to come right off of that ball screw right there. So now your throttle is disconnected. I've already disconnected the choke line because I had to pull the choke lever out and swap it over. If you need to swap over your choke lever, I have a video on how to do that also. But if your choke line is still connected, just leave it until your carburetor is unbolted and then you can twist the carburetor and get it off of this J-hook bend on the choke cable. Now there's only two bolts holding this carburetor on but they're kind of tucked in behind some of the molding on the carburetor. So what you need to do, you can just turn them maybe about three, four rotations and then go to the other side and turn that one three, four rotations and keep going back and forth. You can't just take one screw out at a time. You have to work on one, go to the other, back and forth and kind of evenly bring it out. And then you're going to remove the whole carburetor and bolts together. Once you've got the screws all the way out, simply pull your carburetor straight out. Now depending on how long your carburetor's been on there or how old that gasket is, make sure you remove any gasket material around this area. Now you're going to put your gasket on and put your bolts through the holes. And as you can see right there, that's why you can't back a screw all the way out. You have to work them side by side because there's hardly any room maybe 8 inch 3 sixteenths that you can work these screws in and out at a time. Now you're going to want to hook your choke cable into the choke cable hole and now you can thread the bolts in. I'll thread the bolts in a couple rotations at a time from each side working your way side to side. And now to finish tightening them I'm using a half inch open end wrench and get those bolts nice and snug. You can reattach your throttle linkage. Just give a little support to underneath there and push straight down. So now we just need to reconnect the fuel line. And just remember that these fuel fittings, when they're shipped, they're shipped loose. 
So you're going to want to make sure that this is tight into your carburetor. I put a little bit of Teflon tape on there, not much, just to seal up the threads. And then like I said, I recommend the T-bolt clamps and we'll just tighten up this fuel line. I'll just check the adjustment of your throttle and make sure that it's moving according to your throttle lever on the dash of your tractor. Check your choke operation that's going fully open, fully closed. And now we can go ahead and bolt on the air cleaner base. Once that's tightened down, double check your choke operation. Just to make sure that nothing happened while you bolted this on. Here's the new air filter, the old air filter. It's a great time to change this out. So I'm going to go ahead and you're going to put that air filter on next and then the cover. Job complete. Congratulations on changing your own carburetor. You saved yourself some time and money, learned a little bit about your tractor, and probably had a little fun doing it. Just avoid those cheap junk Chinese carburetors on Amazon and save yourself a lot of headaches. Go to iSave Tractors, get your parts from them. You're going to pay a little bit more, but not in the long run. Hope you guys found this video helpful and informational. Thanks for watching.